Dear Swissies and Switzerland lovers, today I am taking you on a journey through the year 2023, starting as usual in January, when it's bitterly cold here in Lauterbrunnen. This climate is perfect for my furry friend Rasta and me. In January, we also go on beautiful winter hikes. For example, to the Rosenlaue Valley. We enjoy the freezing cold and while I am thinking, Rasta takes care of important things like chopping sticks. Last winter, however, there was very little snow, as you can see here. Some regions had to wait a long time for snow and therefore had a poor winter season. In February, I was once again on the Schildhorn, where I had a very rare encounter. I was thinking of nothing unusual, when suddenly I saw this big bird floating elegantly in the air. It was immediately clear to me that it must be either a bearded vulture or an eagle. I was quickly overwhelmed because I was not prepared for such shots at all. But nevertheless, I managed to take these pictures of a bearded vulture with his partner. For a long time, the bearded vulture was discredited as a dangerous predator and was intensively hunted until it completely disappeared from the Alps at the beginning of the 20th century. Today, this false image has been corrected and the imposing Alpine inhabitant is once again native to our region. This is thanks to a reintroduction project that began in Austria in 1986. Although much has been achieved in the meantime, the reintroduction of the bearded vulture is not yet complete. But nice to see two of them here. While it is still deep winter up here at almost 3000 meters above sea level, spring is already beginning in the south of Switzerland in March. Yes, those are indeed Japanese cherry blossoms you saw there. They bloom very early in the year in Ascona. While it's already very spring-like in Ascona, it still looks relatively barren in the valleys above. The Valle Bavona is very busy here in summer. In the winter or in early spring, there is not much going on here. And although the temperatures are already pleasant, the vegetation is still in winter mode. Rasta and I enjoy this time and we often rent a small rustico for two or three days and go on a few excursions here. In April, spring slowly begins in my region too. Iseltwald on Lake Brienz has to make it without sun for about two months during the winter. So everyone is all the happier when the first rays of sunshine make it back over the mountains. I love this time when everything gets some color again. And then there is something else in Iseltwald the happiest cows on the whole of Lake Brienz live here.
A few animals in Brienz are also looking forward to spring. The llamas get ready for their first spring walk through the Dandelion fields. May is probably the most beautiful time in the mountains at medium altitudes. While the snow is still up in the mountains, the mountain spring begins here. Time for hiking. Here too, the cows are allowed out to graze for the first time, a month later than in the lowlands. And Rasta and I once again enjoy the lush dandelion fields above the Lauterbrunnen Valley. The older the year gets, the higher spring fights its way up. The first flowers are already sprouting at Ushinensee, even if the cows are not yet out on the meadows. We often spend a night here in early summer and enjoy the beauty of nature. June also marks the start of what is probably the most beautiful train journey in Switzerland. The ride on the Brienz Rotorn Railway up to the Brienz Rotorn. Spectacular views are guaranteed and if you are patient enough, you can watch the Ibex at the top. And while you are in my hometown, take a short walk through the old part of the village of Brienz. And don't forget to visit the famous Brunngasse and, of course, our beautiful lakeside promenade. A few very cool steam trains start in July, for example the Furka steam train. However, the steam train only runs when there is no danger of forest fires. That's why I reserved one of the first train rides. Thank you. 
And then there is another train journey that I love to take in summer. A round trip from Interlaken to Grindelwald via Kleine Scheidegg to Wengen, Lauterbrunnen and back again. No steam, but also beautiful views. forgot another beautiful steam ride. This one also only runs when it is not dry. The Brunig steam train. It is usually very hot in Switzerland in August and if you want to cool off a little bit, take a boat trip on Lake Brienz. Probably one of the most beautiful boat trips in Switzerland. Mm. The year is progressing in leaps and bounds. September is the month of the traditional alpine cattle drives. After about three months on the Alps, the cows return to the valleys where they spend the winter. They are decorated with flowers and ring their bells to announce the end of summer. The exact dates can be found on the websites of the tourism organizations.
October brings peace and quiet to the Alps. This is the perfect time for Rasta and me to go hiking. The temperatures are pleasant and you can already see some colored leaves. We really enjoy this peace and quiet and go on lots of excursions because nobody knows when the first snow will come. And there it is, the first big snowfall. The first snowfall is always something special and awakens the child in me. Winter is especially beautiful here in Murren. The car-free village is popular with hikers and skiers. As you never know whether the first white splendor will melt again, I make the most of these moments. It snowed. Look at my schön. How beautiful. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, I feel like a child. Yay. Now in Gimmelwald. Yeah, when we were already there. Huh? Oh, Gimmelwald with snowfall in November. Huh? Best, best. We are now in the last month of 2023 and with the cold days Rasta's and my favorite season begins. We are snow kids and can't have it cold enough. And so we travel wherever we can find lots of snow. The trip to Engadin was probably the most beautiful of these winter trips.
A wonderful year is coming to an end. We have enjoyed every single moment and we hope that we have been able to inspire you with our videos and excursions. We enjoy every moment that comes knowing that tomorrow is never guaranteed. And so we focus on the good every day anew. We wish you a happy new year so that we can share many more experiences with you. Hugs from Rasta and me.